The integrity of financial statements is important to maintaining investor confidence, ensuring accurate decision-making, and upholding the credibility of an organization. In this video, I'll cover the key aspects of the AICPA Audit Standard AUC Section 240 and its importance in improving financial statement integrity. The American Institute of Certified Public Accountants AICPA, has implemented guidelines for auditors to address the risk of fraud through its Audit Standard on Fraud, as outlined in AUC Section 240. This standard places a significant emphasis on the shared responsibilities of those charged with governance and management in preventing, detecting, and deterring fraud. The AICPA's AUC Section 240 states that the primary responsibility for preventing and detecting fraud lies with the entity's governance and management. That means that those charged with governance, including the board of directors, are responsible for overseeing the organization's strategic decisions, risk management processes, and internal controls. The board must be actively involved in setting the ethical tone, establishing an anti-fraud culture, and promoting transparency. That, in turn, can lower the entity's overall susceptibility to fraudulent activities. Management, on the other hand, has the responsibility to design and implement internal controls that mitigate the risk of fraud. This includes creating checks and balances, segregating duties, and implementing control procedures that ensure accuracy and reliability in financial reporting. Managements must foster a culture of honesty and integrity within the organization to set the foundation for effective fraud prevention and detection. AUC Section 240 places a strong emphasis on two critical components of fraud management, prevention and deterrence. Prevention focuses on reducing the opportunities for fraud to occur. This can be achieved through the design and implementation of robust internal controls, segregation of duties, access restrictions, and continuous monitoring of financial transactions. By minimizing the opportunities for fraudulent activities, organizations can substantially decrease the likelihood of fraud taking place. Deterrence, on the other hand, focuses on influencing individual behavior by making the likelihood of detection and subsequent punishment a significant deterrent. This involves creating a sense of accountability, instilling fear of consequences, and sending a clear message that fraudulent actions will not go undetected. The presence of an effective internal audit function and an ethical reporting process can contribute to this deterrence factor. Auditors play an important role in improving financial integrity by evaluating the effectiveness of a company's fraud prevention and detection processes. AUC Section 240 emphasizes that auditors must have a skeptical mindset and exercise professional judgment while conducting their assessments. This process involves gaining a deep understanding of the company and its internal control environment, identifying areas that are vulnerable to fraud, and tailoring audit procedures to address these risks. In addition, the standard requires auditors to specifically evaluate how management views fraud risks and the processes in place to address the risks. This evaluation allows auditors to gauge the accuracy of management's understanding of fraud risks and the adequacy of their control responses. By conducting tests of controls and substantive procedures, auditors identify material misstatements due to fraud and thereby contributing to the overall credibility of financial statements. The AACPA's AUC Section 240 highlights how both the company's governance and management share the duty to prevent, detect, and deter fraud in financial statements. It emphasizes cutting down chances for fraud while increasing the likelihood of catching it. Auditors play a key role in maintaining financial integrity by checking how well a company's anti-fraud measures work. Following AUC Section 240 not only ensures accurate financial reporting, but also maintains stakeholder trust in the transparency and reliability of an organization's operations. 